So in this video, I'm going to show you how to install NVIDIA drivers on a system where it's not recognizing the hardware. You know you have NVIDIA hardware, but the package, the driver package, won't recognize it and you can't get it installed. Now for most people, after you make an update to the driver package, you're going to detect the hardware, install it, and move on with your life. For the rest of us, we're going to have an extra problem, which was making me pull my hair out which is why I even created this video, both as a reminder to myself what to do the next time I run into this, and also to save anybody else from having the problem that I've had uh, trying to get this driver installed on my system. Now, I have a laptop, an Acer 7720, something like that. It's from 2006, and I've been able to upgrade it, and actually that's what created the problem. I upgraded it to a video card that I bought off of eBay, and then I found out later that the video card, like, it was a demo video card, so I had to update the firmware or something. And that way the system, that was the only way I could get the system to boot in the first place. Then when it, once it booted and I tried to install the driver to make everything look good, then it was saying it couldn't find the hardware. So it's been a long evolution of problems leading up to this video. Um, but of course you would go and you'd run the package, and then of course it would uh, try to look for the compatibility and it's going to fail on that part. It's going to say that uh, can't find the hardware, which is 100% true. The driver is only designed for certain uh, hardwares, I guess. And in my case, it didn't. There was probably a special graphics driver for the demo version of this card that I had. So of course, we get here. You're pulling your hair out. I was. And let's go ahead and try to fix it. Now, the first thing we need to do is go into the device manager in order to. Um, in order to figure out the details about the device so that we can make the correct changes in the um, in the INF files, which is what we're going to be modifying. So once you go into Device Manager, right-click on it and go to Properties. Actually, here, let me show you how to get into Device Manager if you're on Windows 10. I right-click the Start button and Device Manager. Easy. So bring that up. Expand your display adapter. Here's mine. We're going to go to Properties and the details pane. We're going to drop down the property, uh, drop down, go to hardware IDs, and we're going to be working from this primarily. This, this DEV of 0649 is really important, and the subsys is what really uniquely identifies your hardware to the system, 057, 0567-10DE in my case. So go ahead and minimize this, and let's start modifying the files. So when you first un un you know, install the package, it's going to extract to your C drive by default. Wherever you put it, go ahead and drill down into that folder. And then you're looking for the display driver folder. So let's go in there. And we need to modify, like I said, INF files. Now the question is, is which one? Well, it doesn't matter, I think. Um, that's why I'm making this video, to kind of show you a way that is successful, but you, the way you make it work may be a little bit different. So, for example, when I did this back in 2006, uh, not 2006, I did this about a year ago, two years ago, I'd say about two years ago, and these files were NVAM or something like that. And they've changed as this has gone on, and if you're watching this in the future looking back, uh, you may have different files here. But basically, just follow this method, and it should work for you. Because like I said, it's worked for me for a couple of years. This system, I've, I've rebuilt it a bunch of times because it's kind of like a test bed for me. So let's find the first one and open it up. Now, we're looking for this grouping, this DEV number. We're looking for this grouping of this four number, 0649. Yours are going to be different. And uh, basically, they fall under one of these headings, right? So here's version, here's something. And we're going to find 06, We're going to find this grouping in one of these files. And we're going to start from there to use it as a template. So 0649 is not found in this file. So like I said, there's a bunch of files, and yours might be different. So just go to the next one. I'm going to go to NVAAI, 0649. Didn't find it. OK, not getting discouraged. I'm moving to the next file. All right, 0649. Here we go. So now I found the grouping of 0649s, right? And uh, we're going to use this as a template in order to get installed. So let's go ahead and select any one of them. It really doesn't matter which one. And it doesn't matter where you put it either. So just for simplicity, I'm going to put it underneath. And now, like I said, we need this subsys number. It's an eight-digit number, 056710DE. And we're going to start modifying this. 0649, the grouping. And then this was 056710DE, uh, right? Let me double check that. 056710DE.
And we need to modify this portion of it as well, just the last eight here. 0, 5, 6, 7, 10, D, E. All right, so we're setting up a pattern. And now I'm going to go ahead and, uh, you know, copy that. And now I'm going to search for more of these 0, 6, 4, 9s. Now, if your curse is here, when you do it, it's going to jump around and you're going to get a bunch of these because you're still in the 0, 6, 4, 9 uh, grouping, right? But when you finally get out of there, you're going to get to the next grouping, which is under a different heading. Like I said, there's these different settings. This says set A devices. I think they end in like 6, 1, 6, 2, 6, 3 or something. But the point is we need to find the 0, 6, 649 before we were in section 13 now I'm sorry section 12 now we're in section 13 of the 0649s so let's go ahead and take that sh that part that we copied before and paste it back in there we've already done the work here and here but one thing that I found success in and I haven't tested it the other way but I changed this to section 13 to match these other sections right I think that's necessary uh, so just go ahead and do it because I've had success now we're going to go and find 0649 again and of course if we were in section 12 before and then section 13 just before now we're in section 14 so we're just going to jump in here any place and put that in here change this to 14 I'm happy with that so now we're going to look for uh, 0649 again and see how I'm bouncing around I'm still in 14 but when I get out of 0649 here in section 14 it's going to jump to 15 so now I'm in section 15 and anywhere in here section 15 and I'm going to change this and then you know get out of section 15 and now you're looking for sections uh, not a section but you're looking for 0649 again now you'll notice it jumped into something that's different right so uh, here's where we found 0649s what we were copying looked like this which is totally different that's because we're in a different heading now this heading is called strings we need to modify a string so there were four of these that we there were four headings that had four of these that we modified right so the first one was section 12 then we did 13 14 and 15 now we have to modify uh, the strings so what we're gonna do is the same idea we're just gonna copy something that was already there we're gonna use it ourselves but now we have to modify it again again the subsys 0567 10 DE 0567 10 DE You'll see people that are messing with the uh, spacing here. You don't. It doesn't matter. I could leave it. I could delete it. Doesn't matter. So now I'm happy. I'll go ahead and close this and save it, and we're good. So I can close this out, and I can close uh, this out, and also those strings let you know what type of video card that you have so to display properly rather than saying like a Microsoft one. All right, now you may be tempted to run this file again. This is the installer file. We don't want that. That's, that's, that's where we started. We want to go back into the PC and go into the NVIDIA folder, that the default location where it was extracted, because the file that we modified was under this international folder, right? But under international, for this particular driver, this is the setup. When I run this setup, it's going to run those INF files. So let's go ahead and do that. And it's going to prompt us. Now, for 90% of people, I'm going to guess, this is all you're going to need to do. You're going to uh, modify the driver. It's going to match your hardware. It's going to install, and you're going to be off to the races and playing Left 4 Dead in no time. And here you go. So now we're going to actually be able to click Agree and Continue, and everything's going to work the way we expect it to. So I'm going to go ahead and click Next. And here you go. So the driver fails to install. Now, like I said, 90% of you people probably won't have this problem. But for the rest of us, we need to figure out a solution. And I finally uh, came up with one when I was thinking about what I know about driver installation. Now, in Windows, there's a signature verification that occurs in the background. And I was starting to think to myself, did this fail? And then I was thinking, the other times I did get it installed, didn't I just do this, but I just intrinsically knew what to do? So I never documented it, and I ended up pulling out my hair about it. So when what I'm going to do is go ahead and, in order to fix this problem with driver signature, going to go ahead and restart this system and disable driver, um, 
disable driver signature verification. Now, this is a per boot setting. And what I'm doing is basically saying, don't worry about it this time. But every time after you reboot your computer, you go back to driver enforcement. It's a security thing. So what you got to do, at least on Windows 10 and kind of on Windows 8, is they decided that for some fun reason, it'd be cute to bury a setting that used to be very prominent. Or when you rebooted the system, you press F8 uh, to get to advanced settings. They've buried this uh, reboot setting to disable driver signature enforcement way down in there. Uh, actually, I'm going to go back just so I can tell you where to go. Again, I went to start settings, which brought up this window, and then I go to update and security in Windows 10, and now I have to go into uh, recovery, and now I have to go down here. This is why Windows 8 failed, is because they changed things around for no reason uh, for you to be able to do the exact same thing you used to be able to do with far, 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 far fewer clicks. And now what we're going to do is we're going to hit restart now. So we're waiting for this menu to pop up now. And we're going to select troubleshoot and then advanced options and then startup settings and just hit restart here. So it's startup settings. You're going to press seven to disable the driver enforcement. So now that we're at the desktop, we can go ahead and run this file one more time. And this time, everything's going to work as we expect. So let's see. I need this set up. All right, so this is the really important part. Now that we've disabled uh, driver enforcement, it's actually asking us what we want to do in this case. I'm pretty sure this is the part that was silently failing. So, of course, now we can go in and we can say install the driver software anyway. And then finally, we have the driver installed despite all the problems that we had. So I hope that helped you. And if you got any questions, just leave me some feedback in the comments.